So when you were shooting Man from Atlantis, how much percentage of the shot was done underwater? Like how, how many days were done? Well, I can't remember day out of days, but every time you saw something underwater, it was underwater. We had no special effects. I mean, we couldn't simulate an underwater shot. There was no CGI. There was no... Um, we couldn't do anything computer-wise. So every time the man from Atlantis had to do something wet or underwater, we had to do it that way. And we had great underwater photographers, a great underwater stuntman coordinator named Paul Stater. Um, it was uh, the beginning of the business in terms of you know, sci-fi for television. Do you think if a show like The Man from Atlantis were to be revived today, it would have lasted longer than a season and a half? I think probably if it were done well, and I think just because they could do so much technically now, that it would be stunning to watch. I mean, just stunning. So, you know, who knows? If they ever did such a thing, would you like to be involved? If they did Man from Atlantis, I would like to be involved. If they just did an underwater superhero, it, it, it's, wouldn't, it would be silly for me to want to be involved. Now, there was an episode of Dallas where there was a character named Mark Harris. Um, did you have anything to do with that? Well, in the sense that the character was my son, the producer of Dallas, Leonard Katzman, was a surrogate father to me, a real, uh, a real mentor in the business, and we became extremely close. And when he hired my son, he knew that I played the man from Atlantis, and the man from Atlantis was Mark Harris, so he on purpose named him Mark Harris. Yes. And what, uh, have you been able to see the DVD, and what was your reaction to it? I, I have. I've seen, uh, I haven't watched all the episodes. Uh, I am on a... Uh, descending arc of appreciation. I think the pilot was great. I think the movies were really good, and I think we sort of lost our way in the course of doing the series. So um, I'm not keen on watching every episode of the series, but the four movies, I think, uh, are very good. And The Man from Atlantis was the cover of TV Guide the week I was born. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> And I thought I'd just throw that in to be obnoxious. Did your but mother keep it? No, I actually got it off eBay a couple of years ago. But um, what was your reaction to your first TV Guide cover? I was almost so new in the business that I didn't realize what an honor it was, to be quite honest. I just thought it was part of publicity. And I was, I was stunned that they actually painted. It's an oil painting. I have no idea where that oil painting is, whether TV Guide has it or something. But it was an actual oil painting that they took a picture of, and that was the, the guide cover. So I'd love to know where that is. 